Hi, Sam from Sound on Sound here at the AES show in Los Angeles. I'm with Jeff Tanner of Aurora Audio. Hi, Hi Jeff. There. Uh, we are standing in front of the newest version of the Aurora Audio sidecar mixer, which is similar in concept to the original Neve sidecar mixers of the 70s. Um, yeah. But as Jeff is going to explain, this has got some pretty cool features of its own. Oh, indeed. Um, some people might compare this to the BCM10 from about 1970 or so, but major differences would be that it has four band EQ with high pass and low pass filters, DI on every channel, and it has pre fade insertions on the back as well as channel outputs. So that was the basic sidecar concept we had, where well, this was just a, a blank panel and it was a 10 into 2 sidecar. But I thought it would have a lot more use if it was a console rather than a sidecar. So we added a monitor section with four sources, uh, alternate speakers, and it has its own powerful headphone um, arrangement. Um, Fantastic. So having the insert points as well as the direct out means you don't have to take up the insert points oh, if you want to take your absolutely. signals to your DAW on the yeah, channel. Yeah, absolutely. Excellent. So it has channel outputs and pre-fade insertions across the desk. And you can switch the pre-fade insertion in and out, which is a, a, another little bonus. Very neat. So as a sort of tracking solution for a small studio. Oh, absolutely. This is, uh, very because versatile. you can track with the channel outputs and you can mix to a very nice stereo bus. So it's really nice sounding. All Class A circuitry. Wonderful. And does it always come in eight channel versions or is there other different sizes no, available? No, at the moment I'm, well it's 10 channel. Oh. It has 10 channel. So um, I can't count. <laughs> don't worry. Um, people are asking me, could I have more channels? And I'm looking into that. You know. So, th th this so this new version is available now, is it? It's also available now. Okay. Everything on, on, on the booth is available now. And how much can we expect to pay for this beast? Uh, as it stands, it's 28,600. That's the, 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 the sidecar, the pre-fade insertions, and the monitor section. But we are doing a deal, adding the thing that we next look at to it for 30,000. And I do believe that with the features that you've got with this, this sidecar, um, that, that there's no near, near competition to it. Fantastic. You know, yeah. Well, I hope we'll get to try it out soon. Yeah. Thanks very much, Jeff. You're very welcome.